Hi everyone, Janice here. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Now today I'm super excited because I will be reviewing Japanese green teas matcha and personally I'm a matcha beginner and I've never done any of those like fancy whisking with those like premium matcha powders so I'm really excited to give it a try. I'll be making two drinks and I'll be teaching you how to make it um, along with giving you some information about the company. So let's get started. Alright, so first off, thank you so much JTC for sending me this package. They even wrote me a lovely letter, and I got this premium matcha, which I'm dying to open, and the chasen, or a whisk as we call it, and a chasku, the nimble scooper. Let's take a closer look at the chasen. I loved how the inner part of it was coiled into a small little bun. So adorable. And I find it crazy how all these fine nimble teeth are all just made from a single stalk of bamboo. So next up is our matcha. Here I have their Japanese powdered green tea, and this stuff is grown in local sugarcane soil in the Shizuoka region. They use a fukamushi method, also known as a deep steaming method, which steams the leaves three to four times longer than your average green tea. So there's a lot of science and chemistry involved in this process from sunlight to exposure and dirt, but regardless, I was blown away at the quality. So let's go a step further and see how they compare to other brands. So these are some other matcha brands that I got from an average Asian supermarket. Now all of these are perfectly fine, but when it comes down to taste, texture, and sugar balance, this one didn't have that deep matcha taste, and the other was too much sugar and not enough green tea, and this one, oh my god, just look at that fine powdery texture and color. It definitely stands out. But again, if you're looking for something more instant, no pressure, and the timing's always up to you. Okay, so first things first, I had to warm up the chasen by dipping its toes in some lukewarm water to really let the bristles bloom. Now onto my first drink, I wanted to make the classic cup of matcha. The first step involves whisking it in some cool water, but little did I notice that the bowl was too steep in the center and not evenly level. This time, I got a flatter bowl, but it was too wide and it was difficult to whisk efficiently. Okay, on my third try, I finally found the right bowl. This may be such a novice mistake, but at least I went through it so you don't have to. Now the real fun begins. After adding some hot water, you're going to whisk it again until you get this light frothy matcha solution. All right, time for my first sip. The first word that pops into mind, earthy. It tastes like a very rich and concentrated tea and it really feels like I'm absorbing all the nutrients from the tea leaves. I love matcha because it has a sustainable caffeine boost, unlike coffee, that gives you a clean high. Okay, now this time we're gonna make one of my favorite drinks, iced matcha latte. One scoop with a chasuku is one gram, and here I put around two grams of matcha, and we're gonna complement that with one and a half spoons of sugar. After putting it all together, add some hot water and whisk it until we get our classic light and airy solution. Now as usual, grab your daintiest cup or mug. With ice drinks, I like using glass. Add your cubes and pour over the milk. All right, ready? This is always the most satisfying part of the video, the drip. Now that looks delicious. Now, normally I would do a narration, but I took the reins on this one, so I guess I'll talk on my behalf. This is like a lot better than the ones you get at Starbucks. I just want to say what I'm feeling right now so I can remember the taste clearly. It's very rich, but it's not too sweet. And like because the matcha powder is very earthy and very bold, I think the sugar and milk complements it as like a really nice plain base very well. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. I can just say that I'm very pleasantly surprised right now. Mm. The earthy notes of the matcha and the light sugariness of this drink makes like a very 
good afternoon drink when you need a drink to like freshen up. I think this is the perfect drink um, for the time of the day. But just look at the color. It's very earthy. Thank you, Japanese green tea. All right, everyone, that brings us to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to check out Japanese green tea. You can use the code BizBay for 15% off so you can make your own delicious drink. I hope you enjoyed my beginner recipes using this matcha. It was really fun, first time making this fancy drink. So thank you, Japanese green tea. And if there's any other requests, recipes, or drinks that you'd like me to make or experiment with, I'd be happy to do that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.